to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for well, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. You might hear my voice being a little bit different, but uh, I'm not feeling too good this morning. But we are up. We're still at the McDonald's. Yeah, but we're getting ready to go deliver our load. Yeah, so let's get over there and uh, see if we can get our load off. Jay Riggs! La 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 la, let's go! La la la, la la! Stop here in Curtis, Wisconsin. Got to have some go go juice too, you know. Got me some fuel. And you got me some of these Hulls candies or whatever. And uh, hopefully, my throat will start feeling better soon, you know. So get out of here since we got our fuel that we needed let's get out of this place I think we got an exit way over here yep they do they do have an exit up here Got 
looks like the cornfield is still not quite ready yet to be harvested yet, eh? Yeah, that's what feet. it looks turn like. Turn left on Plaza Drive and then turn left in 450 feet. Yeah, we got 50 miles to go and then we'll be, uh, we'll be at our delivery place. But I had to in make a pit stop. Feet, turn left on Meridian Street. Get CRE. some fuel. I was getting pretty low. I was almost on the red already. I didn't fill it up all the way. I just got 50 gallons and that's it. I didn't want to fill it all the way up because this is not a place that we normally fuel at. I like to fuel at Pilots or Flying J. And this is a shell. So I decided to, you know what, just get 50 gallons and that will get me throughout the day, I think. I don't know where we're going to be reloading anyway, so... Should get me to the next fuel station anyways. Well, it should at least get me to where I deliver and... Maybe mile. even to where Turn I reload. Yeah. Like I said, we got 50 miles to go. In 800 feet, turn left on WI-29 East Walsall Hudson Ford. All right, RJ, you tell them. You just tell them. You tell them where we need to go. We need to go here on this US-29 or Wisconsin-29, whatever you want to call it. Go a little further east. That's right. There we go. Now we're gonna get on this big highway and put the hammer down. Try and get to our delivery ASAP. Hope that they won't have lunch break there by the time I get there, but if that's the case, that's all right. We'll just have to deal with it, right? Yeah. Continue on this road for 42 miles. That's been a pretty light load though. It just uh, paper pipes and they use those pipes to uh, pour concrete in them. I guess if they make a round post or something like that, they use these uh, these pipes to pour the concrete into it, you know. So that it holds the, uh, holds the concrete into it, you know. Anyways, I had a question the other day about tractor brakes and uh, the person had forgot which button is for the tractor and which one is for the trailer and stuff like that. So I figured out it could be a little educational, right? The yellow brake button is for the tractor. The red one is for the trailer and a spike handle. They call it spike, but it really is a trailer brake. What it is is when you pull down on it, it breaks the trailer axles only. But it's on a spring and it comes back right away as soon as you let go of it. Most of the trucks. There is some trucks that uh, are designed to hold it up and wherever you put it, but uh, most of the trucks are designed so that it comes back right away. And uh, my truck does not have a spike. No, 99% of the trucks, they do have a spike, but mine does not. I heard the reason why this one didn't have it is because this is a US truck and it was ordered by a company in the US uh, custom like that because they didn't want their drivers to have it and for one simple reason and the reasoning was that uh, a lot of drivers would use the spike brake to brake so it wouldn't wear off the tractor brake as easily you know so in order to prevent that they uh, ordered them like that so you couldn't do that 
because if you pull the red button out, that's the trailer brake. Uh, my, my my trailer brakes are going to lock up, right? So then no use for me trying to use that, right? <laughs> that wouldn't be fun, especially on ice. I'd probably be somewhere in the ditch. But uh, anyways, figured I just answered that question the other day. I got that uh, got that question asked and. Uh, if you are the one watching that asked that question, there is your answer. For those of you that weren't aware, now you have that answer as well. Anyways, it's a gorgeous day out here today. It really is. Nice and sunny. Not much wind. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. That's always a bonus. But let's get down over to our delivery and deliver this load. Alrighty guys, we just finished delivering our load. We already got a reload too. We're gonna go into no man's land. Yeah. At least that's from what it looks like right now. We're gonna go straight north pretty much into the northern part of Michigan. It look like one of the most furthest northern part of the country you could probably do into Michigan. I think there was just a little tiny bit further you could go, but in that's about it, you know. Turn left on Schofield Avenue, CRJJ. So, since I didn't fill up all the way, we're gonna have to try and see if we can fill up somewhere. Feet. Turn left on Schofield Avenue, CRJJ. I already looked at the. Uh, already looked at GPS. See if there's a truck stop close by it. I think the closest one is about 50 miles away from the place. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. Uh, we're gonna go there and see if we can find a parking somewhere. That's the plan anyways. I tried calling them and they wouldn't answer me so... I don't know what to do. We'll just have to see what we can do. Maybe we can park somewhere. Or I'm just gonna have to park an hour or about an hour away from it, from the place, so. In 1.5 miles, turn left on Camp Phillips Road, CRX. I guess that would be all right too. I kind of want to go to a Walmart, do a little shopping anyways. Since we can only load there tomorrow morning, I do have the time to do it. It's only like 200 miles, so. And there's only like one, uh, one. It's only like well thirty ahead. right now, so so I know there is a truck stop, or at least there used to be a truck stop on the uh, west side of town. So I'm going to go over there and see if I can fuel up. If I can fuel up over there, then we'll fill the truck up all the way. Go over to this place and uh, pick up the load. Tomorrow. What's up, big it? Hello there, driver. Can I sit down and buy you a cup? This truck stop and coffee we both know will fix you right up. I can't drive a big rig, but man, I play a lot of shows. I'll either drive to you as they can sing in these tunes, cause it's the only life I know. I pick the guitar, and you drive the truck. Hey, I play the gigs, and you drive the rigs, you know it's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired. Love living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Oh, tell us 
about it, Mo. Well, I better get it going if I'm gonna make Dallas by noon. I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear. I'll have to do. After four million miles, you think there's nowhere left to go. And I'll climb back up that old truck, cause it's the only life I know. So you pick the guitar, and I'll drive the truck. You play the gigs, and I'll drive the rig, you know it's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. Pick the guitar, I'll drive the truck. Yeah, I'll pick the guitar, I'll drive the truck. Yeah, I'll play the gigs, I'll drive the rig. It's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick the guitar, and I'll drive the truck. You pick the guitar Hey, you've got a truck yeah. Watch that Jake break, it's getting in our song here, boys Hammer down, boys I'm gonna head it on back to Nashville now Oh, grind them gears a little bit so I can hear you. That's awful pretty truck you got there, Mo. Oh, boy. Won't you park that old truck? Come on down to Nashville with me and do a little singing. Oh, I'm just a cowboy on my way back to Houston. Well, guys, we are only about six miles away from our pickup place. Yeah. And it's still very early. It's only like 4.36 in the afternoon. Yep. Well, what can you do? I talked to the uh, customer and they said it's okay to come in there and uh, park there for tonight. We can only pick up our load tomorrow morning. At 8 o'clock, which is Eastern time. So it'll be 7 o'clock my time. But that part is okay. Nice and early. But we gotta find a place first. I looked on Google and Google apparently is not even able to find it, but uh, our GPS says it is there and we'll see if it's correct or not. But look at these beautiful colors of the trees, you know. You can tell it's fall when you see these beautiful colors come out, you know. It actually is gorgeous, you know, all kinds of different colors. Yeah. Anyways, we have had ourselves a fantastic day so far. We got our two drops off. We're almost at our pickup location. It would be kind of nice if they could actually load me and then I could drive back. I saw a little tiny truck stop there about 20 miles back from, uh, from where I'm picking up, so would be kind of nice if I could get picked up to uh, pick up my load here and I could go back to the truck stop unless I have to go the other way I haven't even looked which way I gotta go to go back home but gotta go one way somewhere right <laughs> anyways let's go see if we can find this place up here and see if they will kick us out or not look at this guys we are coming into town and we're gonna be right on the water at least not that far off from the water. Pretty much at the shipyard or ship dock or whatever you want to call it. As you can see over the hill there, it just keeps going down. And I can see the water. I don't think the camera is going to be able to pick that up, but I can see the water way up there in the distance. And I got to go really pretty much all the way down to the Almost the last the street, mile. it looks Turn like. Turn left on South Main Street. That's where I'm supposed to pick up my load. Yeah. Let's go see if we can actually find it. I'm 
kind of curious to see if my GPS is going to have the right address in it, you know. Oh, look at this nice building here to the left. That's kind of cool. That looks like a fairly old building. I don't know if the camera is picking up the lake just yet, but I can definitely see it. It's fairly windy up here too. But because I've been driving in, in the forest here pretty much, uh, I haven't felt much of the wind yet. But Yeah, let's see. I don't know <laughs> where the GPS is taking feet, me, but turn left on let's hope South that we Main are going to be at the right place. You know? on the left side in 550 feet. Says it's supposed to be right here. Well, we can't go further, then we'll go into the lake. <laughs> yeah, it says the place that we're picking up is supposed to be just down here down the road. I guess we'll have to find out, eh? Oh yeah, there is a place down there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. We're literally right on the lake, Approaching man. destination in 500 feet on the left side. I hope they'll let me go for a walk and then I can go to the beach. Yeah. Look at that. That building is literally right here on the beach. I don't see no stop sign here, so... Alright, that, that would be kind of cool to go walk over there, you know? You have arrived at your destination on the All left right. side. Two, zero, zero. S Main Street. Let's go see if we can check in with... Uh, security and see if they'll let us park in here somewhere I'm really hoping they won't kick me out you know and there's another truck over there parked so I'm sure they won't kick me out anyways we'll be right back y'all hey guys I want to show you something real cool oh well, look at this this is how they used to build the boats that's that's an old old boat I'm telling you guys that's a wooden boat from back in the day. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> they got some real old stuff up here too. That's where we got the beach over there. I already went for a walk, but I didn't videotape anything. But yeah, well, oh, they got some more old stuff it looks like up here. Must be a museum or something. That's what it looks like. Almost looks like a museum. Oh yeah, they got a big anchor right here. And a boat up there. Looks like they're closed though. Yeah, big chain up there. Yeah, big rope up here. Yeah, they're closed. Anyways, I'm just going for a walk and see what they all got in here, you know. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. Yep. We are at our delivery as you guys know, or delivery at our pickup place as you guys know and I just read a comment there on Facebook somebody's driving for the same company said that just be careful they load you overweight up here so that is going to be an issue for me I really hope they have a scale up here I really really do hope that they have a scale up here but other than that we will worry about that tomorrow but I'm getting ready to go to bed so Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Be sure to stick around tomorrow. Because you never know what could come up tomorrow, right? So with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall